Once you've connected your bank account to online banking in QuickBooks, QuickBooks downloads your recent transactions every day. Let's go over how to review the transactions downloaded from your bank and how to categorize them and confirm them so that your books are accurate. Go to Transactions and select Bank Transactions to get started. You'll see a box for each bank account and credit card you've connected. Select any of the boxes to see the downloaded transactions for that account. Here is where you'll see all the transactions that QuickBooks has downloaded from your bank. The next step is to categorize each of these transactions. You can keep the category QuickBooks is suggesting for you, or you can tell QuickBooks what category the transactions should be in. Select the transaction to see more info. Make any changes or add any missing details. You can change the category that QuickBooks suggests. Or, if there isn't a category selected, choose the one that best describes why you spent or received the money. If the transaction is a sale, categorize it as income. Select the income account that you use to track these kinds of transactions. If you're recording a purchase you made, you usually categorize it as an expense. But if the purchase is something that you'll use over and over again for many years, like a vehicle or a computer, you should categorize it as a fixed asset. You won't see these often. If you don't see a category that works, you can add one here. QuickBooks will learn your categories over time, making this process easier. You can also split a transaction into multiple categories. Select the categories and add the amount for each. Just make sure it adds up to the total amount of the transaction. The supplier customer is optional, but it helps you to run reports later to see who you've paid or who paid you. You could also assign an expense or income to a particular project or customer so you can track the profitability of your work. Select this box to make an expense billable if you want to include the expense on a future invoice to the customer. If you don't know who the transaction was with, look at the bank detail. This is the information sent from your bank that usually contains the name of who you spent money with. You can see more or less of this information by selecting the gear icon and then selecting, unchecking, or turning on or off any of the fields you see. Once everything looks good, select Add. You can save time by setting up rules for common transactions. This other video will show you how. You might see some transactions you've already recorded in QuickBooks or payments you need to apply to open invoices and bills. If QuickBooks detects that a transaction relates to something you've already entered, you'll see Match Found. This prevents duplicates. If the transaction you have in QuickBooks matches what the bank sent, select Match. However, if QuickBooks is wrong and the match is not correct, don't worry. You can select Categorize to add it to QuickBooks as a brand new transaction. Or, if you know you definitely entered the transaction into QuickBooks and the match is wrong, select Find Other Matches to match it to the correct transaction. Now you are ready to categorize transactions for your connected bank and credit cards.